Dear colleagues, in intumescent cataracts, I always do a small rexis first using only SPMC. Aspirate some cortex through this small opening to reduce the intralenticular pressure. Inject viscoelastic substance then and then I use a vana scissor to cut the margin of this small rexis and raise a small capsular tag. I hold this capsular tag with uterta forceps, go anticlockwise and remain at a certain equal distance all around from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I make a fairly round rexis in intumescent cataracts and I believe you also can do it. And now, hydro dissection is not required. The tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced. Some cortical matter is again removed to improve visibility. And now, this is direct chop. The cataract in this case is brittle, not very hard. Just bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, hold it firmly, and chop it. This cataract is very brittle and it is getting chopped very easily and emulsified very easily. From the very beginning, I am in FACO 2 mode with high vacuum. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Power used in this case is 60%. Nucleus is managed. And now, viscoelastic substance is injected. Why? Because if you inject viscoelastic substance, the anterior chamber remains formed for quite some time. Um, using Simco through the main wound, the visco is coming out gradually and the anterior chamber is remaining very deep for removal of the viscoelastic removal of the cortical matter and now after thorough removal of the cortex in this case intraocular lens has been implanted using viscoelastic substance viscoelastic substance has been used in the entry chamber and the capsular bag now this is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and see what has happened. There is a cotton fiber which has gone along with the lens. Sometimes in the lumen of the cartridge there can be a cotton fiber. You must remove the cotton fiber before you wash out the viscoelastic substance. Let me repeat. Remove the cotton fiber before you do anything else before dialing the lens, before removal of viscoelastic substance, otherwise this cotton fiber may get lost somewhere under the iris. Now the lens is placed in the capsula bag. Now see how to clean the viscoelastic substance thoroughly. First irrigate with Simco. Irrigate the anterior chamber irrigate the capsular back and now after thorough irrigation aspirate for some time and see lot of visco has come out there is some amount of cortex at 5 o'clock this is being removed now and now Some more fibers are showing up that is also removed. So this is a thorough removal of viscoelastic substance but this is not my ritual. After this I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration for thorough removal of all the molecules of viscoelastic substance. 
irrigation first and then irrigation and aspiration together this is done religiously because if you do it nicely the intraocular pressure will not shoot up iop will remain normal patient will be very comfortable then the side ports are hydrated the final lavage of the anterior chamber is done and the chamber is formed and the case is concluded thank you very much